Welcome back to Mystics MMOs. I'm your host, Mystic Raven. All right, guys. So here's the deal. I have to use my old adapter until I get a new mic because that adapter I got sucks. I knew it was kind of going to. So it works well with my headset, um, which isn't the problem. I mean, it's not the issue. It's just like it's not picking up the mic elements. So... You, your mic, like if I get a different adapter, it's going to adjust the quality of sound of my microphone. So I was like, well, that just sucks balls. I'm going to have to get a separate mic. So I'm probably going to get a boom mic, which I've been kind of a little leery about because, you know, I I don't like to hit a separate um, like mute button on the computer I know it's tedious just stupid things to complain about but <laughs> you know it is what it is so I'm gonna be using this old mic or this old adapter until I go get a new mic which isn't necessarily a bad thing but Trying to level up my retainer, so I'm tending, sending them back out on long trips. Okay. Now. <coughs> what am I going to play, though? What am I going to main? Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. There is a lot, and I mean a lot of things going on um, with the upcoming Shadowbringers. A lot of changes. Um, so it's going to be really hard for me. I like the way the Machinist looks, but I'm not getting my hopes up in that I'm going to be DPSing. So more than likely, I know I'm aware that I'm going to be um, playing a role Okay, let's get rid of this one thing for... Oh, I can't sell it on that dude. Oh, that should have sold. So somebody's been marking down again. Of course they fucking have. Fucking... Excuse my French. I'm just trying to get rid of them. That's fine. I'll mark down. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, we know it's going to sell for 20. All right. Now, with that being said, we'll move on to the next thing, and that is getting rid of uh, these coins. All right. I think I have this card. I do. So we can get rid of that. Just trash it. All right. Now, on to the next. I think I'm going to play my Sam. I haven't, you know, played the Red Mage yesterday. Twelve minutes. Well, that's a little lengthy, more lengthier than I anticipated it. Go repair real quick. A lot of people are pumped up. Can't say I blame anybody. I'm kind of a little envious of the people who got to go and at least check out the stuff. I've heard nothing but positive things. So I'm looking forward to the early access to Shadowbringers. Um, 
I think I'm definitely going to be hitting up the Gunblade and the Dancer for the first week. Uh, I think the Dancer is going to be the biggest one to get those 10 levels. All right. I think to get the Dancer from 60 to 70 is going to be crucial. There are going to be a lot of people who want to know that rotation. And um, because it has unique elements to its play style. And I've watched five different videos already on the dancer. Kind of interesting. And every one of them did a great job. Everybody who put up videos who was there, they did excellent. I am, once again, it just goes to show the quality of the community in Final Fantasy XIV. I really, more and more, it's these things that make me appreciate why I came here. And even though I'm not really, you know, sold on PV, the PvP elements, it's just, you know, I do okay, but it's not typically my cup of tea when I, when I take a look at what PvP means to me as a player. Um, that's not to say that, you know, the players who do enjoy it, um, I'm, I can understand why they do. I like the, a lot of the elements that it brings, but for me personally, I enjoy this game for the PVE elements and each of the jobs, each of the animations, all the different factors that's been getting ready to be poured in for Shadowbringers is phenomenal. I'm also looking forward to the E3 to see if Square Enix has anything else up their sleeves that they haven't disclosed as of yet. And I wouldn't be surprised if there is. So... Because nobody... There's a lot of things that weren't talked about. Like, there were a lot of things, like, I wanted to know, but I really didn't get a, an answer. And I was like, uh, should I ask? Nah, you know, sometimes it's best left to be, sometimes it's better to be left surprised. So I was more than comfortable with that. I was like, you know what? I'll wait. I'll check it out myself. I'll be the determining factor. I'm not going to let... Certain things just spoil my experience for myself. Because, like, a lot of people didn't like Machinist or Monk. Now everybody's kind of like, they look really good. Coming into Shadowbringers. And that's amazing. You know, that's a really good statement. And I applaud Square Enix for listening to its community. So a lot of pros that are coming in is do what? To do to community feedback. Once again, another reason just to appreciate the game. But I'll be honest, I wouldn't go anywhere because of the quality of performance. And I know you don't get value like that. The, the value of this is worth every dime, worth every penny that for a sub, for the purchase price, Everything that I'm getting, I feel justified as a consumer. So I'm more than happy about that. No, I know a lot of people have like, you know, there's nothing to do in between here and this time. Well, that, that you know, we get that with every MMO, especially when we're looking at phasing in, you know, our end game experience and... It was interesting because Larry, you know, his interview with uh, Yoshi P with the relic question was a pretty damn good one. You know, how's are we bringing back, you know, relics in the old standard? Is it all about Eureka? I'm personally not concerned with Eureka at this point. I just came in here January. I'm not going to spend my time in Eureka because I... For me personally, it's a time sink that's not worth it in the in the long game because everything that you obtain has to be replaced, you know, with this new content. So it's like, do I want to go in there and go through it to get, you know, these feats and these titles? 
potentially, but for progression, I don't see a point. Now, unlocking content is different. So I already have Eureka unlocked. But I need to unlock like all my Sigmas and like I need to unlock Omega. Whether or not I do that content, that's questionable. But to uh, be having it unlocked because of the Q system is important. Because remember, our Q system has backward, cap backward you know, effects to it. All right. Let's go. This is the one class I'm really happy about. I'll have to make a minor a couple minor adjustments, but from what I'm understanding from everybody, Samurai got the less amount of changes which I am totally happy about. Protect, yes, no. <laughs> uh, uh, and they have protect you know it never fails could have said please maybe that would have helped god just waited, and then I get in, and of course I get kicked automatically. God. Spectrum, 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 spectrum. Boy, man, I'm loving this. Getting a lot of lag here. Let's hope the boss mechanics go easy on me.
one thing I'm going to switch. I'm going to put this over here so my heels kept separate. Forty three K, it's not too shabby. I shan't hold back. Pass on that, read on that.
You underestimate me. You die! All right.
I love that. Oh shit! Wrong button. I went in when I was supposed to hit the heel. Thank you. Oh boy, Mystic. Oh shit. No, 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 no! We both did. Well, I try to step back. I hate that. Oh my god. Always difficult trying to play one from another. Dude just got fried again. God dang it. Nope.
No! You bastard. Why is everybody on top of each other? You guys are gonna get me killed! Stop! Oh my god. I'm trying to go away from them. They're all stacked on me. I'm like, oh my god, stop. Nobody's getting it. I'm not giving it to a goddamn person. Never thought I'd say I would never give accommodation, but I'm not giving a fuck accommodation. Yo, Mark, what's up? I don't think builds will be a thing in Final Fantasy XIV with the material changes. Yeah, I don't... The way the uh, material is going to end up being is it's just going to be like for like maximizing, you know, output. There's still going to be quite a number of things, but I never considered builds a thing in this game in comparison to other games. I always consider... Con like, I call it configurations. Why? Because you're always going to change depending on the needs of whatever content, uh, whether it's going to be direct hit. Um, for example, uh, one of the major things, attack uh, power, right, versus skill speed. And then, of course, you have your uh, critical hit, direct hit, determination. So all of these little factors um, are going to be a lot more prominent on how you know each you know job uh you know effect is affected but to, to you know I, ne I never considered them builds but you know i i always call them configurations but i get yeah yeah i mean with the main stats but the main stats a lot of times we didn't use so like that's the problem like i felt the problem was like why am i getting why am i getting a materia i can't use like, if I get a strength materia, it's capped. I can't get, I can't, like, my strength's capped. Like, I, I, I can, if I'm lucky, I can put it in maybe a jewelry slot. And it was a, it was a custom. Like, everybody was doing it. Like, if there was a jewelry slot where you could put dexterity, you would put dexterity. If there was a jewelry spot, spot where you could put strength, you would automatically put strength. And that's why I was like, eh, you know vitality so on and so forth it you know so i honestly i'm kind of glad they're they're actually doing away with it because i'm ho i honestly would like to see buffs being applied by their jobs the armor has caps now right right absolutely and i'm glad they do i'm glad they do it like that but you know as far as you know how the progression system is going to be applied you know It'll be interesting. I mean, I'm fine with it. I you've played linear games. We I mean, we know what to expect. I don't feel like there was a lot of flex spots anyways. Like if had they did like a tree system like Old World of Warcraft or Rift, we would have a lot more debate about rotation, uh, ability pickups, build configurations. That would be a whole do a new beast, wouldn't it? 
Like if we had where, oh, uh, well, I'm not taking this ability because that's set in that tree. I'm taking this ability, which I'm fine with, actually. I like the fact that the jobs play so unique and they have viability and that the materia is just kind of like a buff system, you know, a armor buff system. So, you know, I, I have no problem. I mean, it's not like, you know, like sandbox games. That's why I always like sandbox games. When it came to build configuration or building, you know, making a build. Um, but at the same time, there's when you're playing like a game like Elder Scrolls, progression's kind of stale. Like, where do you go? What relevance is your is anything that you do? You know what I'm saying? Because it gets monotonous. You just play the content to do what? Yeah, 100% agree. Right. I mean. And, and I, I, I love it. I love this game for that. I feel like the one element to this game, I'm actually so happy I came here, Mark. I am so ecstatic. I love the mechanics. I love every part of the game, how it's unique. I mean, I don't feel like every job needs to be the, the best DPS because it offers support capabilities. I don't feel like every tank should be the homogenized. I really like the preference play of what Final Fantasy XIV offers. It's about what you like to play in that context. You know, do you want to be a support DPS? Do you want to be a powerhouse DPS? Do you want to be uh, a healer? What type of healing do you want to do? Same thing with tanking. Do you want to tank? What kind of tanking system do you want? This is why I really enjoy this game more and more. It's like it doesn't it doesn't need to meet the standards of what other games are doing it has its own system in which everything feels so awesome yeah it's awesome it's great like i don't i don't feel like there's a class that's you know the meta is one thing when we're talking about you know extreme content or whatever but that's another thing too right so let's say that your main job doesn't configure to meta for extreme or slayer you don't have to re-roll a new character you can literally level up the other job on the same tune and say okay well this meta i'm not going to be using this job so i want to stay with this role so i'm going to go with this job like you know is like monk Monk and Samurai, how's those two going to differ, you know, differ now? Because they're both selfish DPS, but they share the same gear, you know? Is Monk going to be more preferred over a Samurai? You know, is the meta going to dictate that? Well, it doesn't matter because they share the same gear. I don't even have to hunt down new gear. You know, if it's a meta, a meta thing, it's like, great, okay, well, I have the gear. So all I have to do is level up the Monk. So that's what I like about it. It's like I don't have to start from scratch. I don't have to start from scratch on the MSQ. I don't have to redo the content. I've done a billion times. It's just like saying, hey, I just got to level up a monk this, uh, this round. I already have the gear. And I can still place the ammo on my main on, on other things. I can still roll them in dungeons and stuff. But I just can't take them through slayers. Because, you know, the monk's pushing out. A little extra DPS. whip de do Really nice, though. That's why I love it. This is why I, I'm so glad I switched. I'm so glad. I'm tired of farming for alts. I'm tired of being told you have to do it this way. I'm tired of that. I am so over that. That's why I like sandbox games. Because I decide how I want to play sandbox content, right? How I want to approach, how I want to tackle the content. In linear games, traditionally, it's always dictated that you're going to play this way. You're going to play that way. It's dictated. But in this game, it isn't set up that way. It's like saying, hey, are you, gonna, are you playing support DPSs? Are you playing, um, you know, heals? Are you playing tanks? You know, uh, which tank do you prefer? You know, I like the shielding tank. I like the dodge tank. I like, you know, the debuff tank. It's, it's 
It's really amazing, man. Every day. Uh, and it doesn't take long. It'll be a while for Meta to settle down, right? I actually agree with you, man. It'll be a, it'll be a while before that gets, you know, you know, all like, ooh. But that's the one thing, though. I mean, coming into a game like this, it is definitive, isn't it? There is a best in slot. There is a meta. Where in Elder Scrolls, they didn't really understand the term meta. They didn't really understand. They're like, this is the meta. And I'm like, how can you even, do you even understand the implications behind the word? Do you understand it? Like, I, th I felt like Elder Scroll players were used to hearing it in other games and they adopted it without understanding the, per the meaning behind it. It's like the meta in, in, in a game is definitive. It's definitive. And in Elder Scrolls, there are so many more, much more variables that you guys don't even understand. Your, it's not the game holding you back and dictating it has to be this way. You're setting a false perception of what meta is. It's, that's not what a meta is. A meta is saying we need a buffer. We need a shield. It's like, you know, meta can switch and even in the games. In World of Warcraft, we used to change the meta on the content, not the classes. What we needed for the dungeon, right? There was times we needed discipline priest, right? There were times that the discipline priest wasn't the best healer, but we needed the discipline priest. It, it became meta due to the content. That's what I don't get from ESO players. They didn't understand the terminology. It's like meta isn't the best. It's what's needed to con clear content. That's the dictation of meta. But best in slot is definitive. It's, it's, there's no debating a best in slot. We can't, we can't debate it. In Elder Scrolls, you have indifferent values. So why are you arguing with yourselves? That makes no sense. So, which, you know, I hate, like I said, I don't like ad adapting to a meta. I don't like adapting to what has to be dictated. But I feel like in this game, like they said, everything's viable. And I agree with that. And I agree with you. But the meta is going to, it's going to take hold somewhere because of the content. We're going to hit a slayer. We're going to hit a, an extreme. And there are going to be things that are more productive in that scenario. And that's going to dictate the meta. There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can say or change. Players will find out we, you need a shield here. You're going to have to have a scholar. You don't need a shield. You need maximum healing. You need a white mage. So you see what I'm saying? That's going to dictate meta. That's going to dictate the meta. It's the content. Not the jobs in this game. And I really enjoy that. Like in World of Warcraft, it was about your build. Right? In, in, as well as content. Like <coughs> Ice Mage. I never remembered... Up until Wrath of the Lich King, where we used the Frost Mage in raids. It was always Fire Mage. Always. Hands down. Fire Mage, Fire Mage, Fire Mage, Fire Mage. You know, that was meta. It was just meta for the longest time. Um, same thing with Rogues, right? How they were built. And what, where we needed, you know, a Hunter. Or where we needed this. There was just certain things that was the dictating factors that, you know, said, well, I would love to take your Frost Mage, you know, in a dungeon. Unfortunately, he's just not going to cut the mustard. In this game, I don't feel like that. I feel like you can play. Like, if I want to take my Red Mage in, in a raid, I can. Now, can I take him into a Slayer? Uh, that depends, man. That's all dictating on the makeup of the group. You know, what do we have and what, where do we have our flex spots? You know, 
Do we have our buffers? Do we have, you know, where, where are we at? So long as everything's met and we have an opening to slot in me for a red mage, okay, they may, they may say, okay, yeah, we, we could definitely use you for that res as well as some, DP, um, some support on top of your DPS. Perfect. Cool. So I'm definitely down, man. I'm definitely, definitely down. I'm really looking so forward to I can't wait to get in near. I can't wait to see it. Because near the near games are so hard and I can completely think to myself like we're gonna get hosed. Bring it on, baby. I like to suffer. I like it too when you have a challenge like that. Look at the shadowing. It's so good. And I even have a gauge down. I don't know if gauging my settings down was really productive. I set my settings down and like some of my glare and stuff, but I don't, I can't tell if it really were really helping. How'd you do on your benchmark, by the way, Mark? You probably got it great, didn't you? I did. I got a very good. I got a very high score. Not the best. Which my system's a little older. Like I was telling my friend, I'm like, I have a cross-board uh, uh, MOBO. And I was thinking about upgrading the GPU. I'm running it at a 3.6 gigahertz. It's going to be so nice to have fresh content no one has played for years. I know, right? And it's going to last us quite a while, man. So I feel like we, we came over at the perfect time. I felt like we jumped we jumped in in the perfect time. Hercules is already getting like he he knows his main DPS, his main tank. He's going dancer, I believe. He's building a dancer. I think dance, I think you're right. I think dancer is going to be what uh, you scored high. Nice. I think you're right. I think dancer is going to be that class that it's everybody's going to want to have and at least we'll have them. You know, I think a lot of people Oh, get with the dancer, especially with partners, the dance partner system. I found that to be really unique. I was like, that's a really cool system. I will replace my PC in a year, I think you will. I need to upgrade mine. I don't need to replace it. I need to upgrade it. Like I can upgrade uh, my bus speed on my RAM. And I can uh, upgrade my GPU and my CPU. My GPU I'm hesitant on because the GPU is a lot more expensive. So I don't unless I unless I absolutely need it, I don't I don't feel like I need to upgrade the GPU. All right. I haven't played the Sam in a minute, so I was really wanting to shake him off. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to make one more switch. Aru. Just because of the way my dragoon set up is why. Because I have the heel over here and the jump. So I'm used to like clicking the opposite effect. I was just in this earlier too. It's weird I got it again.
Sam or I, if I could choose to, to choose, Sam would be my main every day. But unfortunately, the way it's going to go down, I know I'm going to be, um... left playing a support class. Go tank, go! Come on, man. I hate when you're switching and it... Oh, shit! Where's the healer? Oh, no. We're fucked. I was wondering why am I taking... Okay, you're out, man. You have a good one. I think dance will be a player make or break slot, right? I agree. I agree with that statement, man. You have a good one, Mark. Thank you for stopping in, brother. I definitely think I agree with you, man. It's going to be definitely, you know, a uh, certain factors. Healer couldn't keep up. It happens. We don't have our healer, dude. What are you doing?
You might want that protect there, bud. Or not. Oh no. All right. Get out of that. This dude should have known better. If we die, I'm not gonna... Put him in the hole, man. Or fuck.
Yep, I knew he was gonna run all the way. God dang it, man. Well, trigger happy there, bud.
Hell yeah. I was trying to keep up after looting. Oh, fuck. Boy, this dude went big, didn't he? Oh, shit. Dude, you're gonna get us all fucking killed. Are you fucking serious? Two left? Wow! That's why you don't pull big, man. We have a healer got us killed once already. God. He already got us killed once. And unfortunately, healers are still going to be able to DPS. Blech. Blech. Dude got me killed.
Done. Gonna give it up to the tank. Tank was pretty beast. So was the... The healer needs a little work, but... Let's see. That's a damn good drop. <laughs> All right. Okie day. Got, yeah, not too shabba, not too shabba shabba shabba. Now, let's see where my caster is at. I've been, oh, that reminds me. Oh, snap. I think I ended up getting a piece for this dude. No. thought I did on that last run, but I guess I didn't. All right. Now tomorrow starts the Moogle event where you'll be able to go to these Moogles and get stuff from them. So that starts tomorrow, I believe. So heads up, everybody. And I'll be farming the hell out of that. I will be farming, farming Moogles while I'm leveling. It'll be fun. I want some of those mounts. Oh, it's not where I wanted to be. I wanted to go over here. Huh. Now, as far as, um, like right here, he's 376. Um, my tanks are like 374. Pretty much. That's 373, but he needs a piece on him. Machinist is about almost 380. My red mage is 380. So um that's kind of where I want to where I'm I'm fine with between 380 and 390. I don't need like the 400 and four something gear score. Um I don't need my best in slot moving forward. I just don't feel like you know progression at this time is pointless. It's just like now's the time just to get everything unlocked. Get my crafting up, play catch up, um, which I'm I'm fine with. And then the first week I would like, I'll have to get into some of the MSQ. Uh, I wish they would have also told us where we where we can expect to unlock the new jobs. I imagine in Stormblood is where we're going to be able to unlock them, since it is sixty. So I'm imagining. Uh, that that's the case so striking yes casting yes slaying yes casting yes I'm going to skip past all the blue blue stuff. All of this is gone. All of this in between stuff. Um, 
Cheshire earrings. I don't know. I'll just keep them on whatever for now. I think that's pretty much about it. Other stuff off to filter through. But I'm up to 31,000 um, marks. That looks pretty good. Um, then, like I said, I'll usually come over here, go to my rank. And you can also buy food and other stuff. 130. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Seven hours left. All right, guys, I'm going to call this. I'm going to take a break. Um, so far, so good. Like I said, I'm just still getting some of these marks. I'll work on, you know, at least getting some gear. Not too, I'm not worried about too much. Leveling up some extra ones. I'm a little worried about Dragoon. So the only job I'm worried about. I know a lot of people raved about some of the changes, especially with heavy thrust being thrown out the window. Um, but I'm a little worried about the Dragoon. They say its rotation's a lot less complex, but seeing that they still have a dual, dual combo rotation, it slows the combat of the Dragoon tremendously in comparison to other classes and especially other support dragoon had a nice little fit because it offered support with its dps and given the fact that we have so many other support abilities that if we're going to be taking a look at min maxing in certain setups i'm worried with dragoon in that capacity so that's the one I'm worried about. Out of all the jobs, the only job I'm worried about, the only one is Dragoon. I'm not worried about the Ninja. I'm not worried about the Monk. I'm not worried about Machinist anymore. I'm not worried about, obviously, Black Mage or Samurai. I'm not worried about even pretty much majority of the healers. White Mage, I wish they would have got a buff. Um, they have a defensive wing system, which was cool. But whether or not it's going to be utilized over the AST and the Scholar is remains to be seen. Tanks I'm not even worried about, to be honest with you, from what I'm seeing. So tanks is more preference. But support DPS. Ooh. Red Mage is, I feel, in a good safe spot. Like, it's in a safe spot, but it's not, like, like compelling people in that direction. So, like, if you're a red mage, I don't feel like you're in a bad position to main red mage. Like, it's not like they can't utilize you. It's a question of it is, can't, wh do they have the sp spot to utilize you? That's the question. So, Dragoon's the one I'm worried about. I'm worried about the Dragoon. It's the one I'm worried about. The only job I'm worried about out of all the jobs existing and ones coming in is I'm worried about the Dragoon. So, it's the only one. All right, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. Once again, I'm Mr. Craven. This is Mystics MMOs. As always, thank you. Have a nice day.